just coming to the West Side Highway this weekend with a traffic slowdown. The city says it's reducing the speed limit to keep pedestrians and bike riders safe. CBS 2's Christina Fan has the details. The speed limit on the West Side Highway will be dropping from 35 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour this Saturday. Transportation officials say it's one of many changes on this road that will hopefully lower fatality rates. Route 9A may be called the West Side Highway, but new changes will be forcing drivers to treat it more like a street. There's a lot of, you know, risk takers in traffic, you know, a lot of guys skipping lights. I think it's a pretty good idea. Between 59th Street and Battery Place, the speed limit is about to drop from 35 to 30 miles per hour. The idea is to make drivers yield more to pedestrian and cyclists, but not everyone seems convinced it's going to work. I think the, the speed limit's fine. It keeps traffic moving. People, for the most part, I find when I'm biking, obey the laws. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I feel like things will still go along the same speed unless they have increased enforcement of it. The Department of Transportation is also working on other design changes. Changes, including adding new right turn traffic lights at southbound intersections. They also plan to extend curbs to keep cars from cutting too close to the sidewalk. It can't hurt to have curb extensions, especially down by the schools and where lots of kids are crossing. But some drivers say this is just another attempt to shift blame of recent fatalities onto drivers when they are not the only problem. They're they're electric and they're um, they're going excessively fast. So uh, I think that's the problem. Under the plan, pedestrians will also be given more time to cross at certain intersections. On the west side, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.